Brakes are a vital component of every vehicle. They slow down the vehicle, allowing you to stop safely in all types of situations. Fully functioning brakes are crucial for handling critical conditions and avoiding collisions with other vehicles, pedestrians and cyclists. That's why the brake system in your vehicle shouldn't be overlooked. Making sure that all the brake components work properly is one of the primary safety concerns. The brake calipers, brake pads, and brake rotors are the most significant parts of brakes, and they need to be checked regularly. They can wear out over time, causing your brakes to malfunction and jeopardize your safety, as well as the safety of other drivers on the road. However, sometimes it's not that easy to figure out when these components are ready for replacement. Before we proceed would like to take the opportunity to ask you to join our growing community. Kindly subscribe to our channel and then click the bell icon to be notified of our upcoming videos, and now let's continue. How do brake pads work? The braking system in your vehicle includes a brake disc, a brake caliper, and a pair of brake pads. The pads are fitted in the caliper, and they almost get into contact with the two sides of the brake disc. When you press the brake pedal, hydraulic fluid in the caliper pushes each brake pad into the sides of the brake disc. The action results in the friction that slows down the vehicle and allows you to stop it completely. As you can see, brake pads are the key part of the braking system on your vehicle. They allow for the other parts to function properly and last longer. There are a couple of types of brake pads. They differ from one another in the materials used for the construction, and consequently, the overall longevity. Which one you'll use mostly depends on your vehicle, driving habits, and personal preferences. Organic brake pads. Organic pads use materials that contain non-metallic fibers. They include mostly fiberglass, rubber or Kevlar, and even cellulose. Although super soft and quiet, these pads are only suitable for normal daily driving. They offer reliability and efficiency but don't last for very long. What makes them appealing is the low price. Metallic brake pads. Metallic brake pads are very durable. The material can withstand different temperatures and operate at its best for a long time. That's why these are so popular and widely used. Metallic brake pads don't compress a lot, which means they offer ultimate braking power without much pressure on the pedal. They are, however, a little noisy and might cause premature wear on the brake rotors. Semi-metallic brake pads. Semi-metallic brake pads contain up to 65% metal, and the rest of the materials are usually wool, wire, and copper. These have an impressive lifespan and can be found in most modern cars. Because semi-metallic brakes offer an excellent combination of high braking power, cost, and longevity. Ceramic brake pads. Ceramic brake pads are more resistant to wear and last longer than all other types listed above. Ceramic is super strong and operates within a wide temperature range. The material makes the brake pads resistant to daily abuse and ideal for those looking for more durability. How long do brake pads last? Most manufacturers state that their pads last somewhere between 30,000 and 70,000 miles, but that can vary a lot. The effective lifespan of brake pads depends on many factors, with the major ones being driving styles and weather conditions. Although we can't exactly pinpoint the longevity of brake pads, we can give you a list of the factors that might influence their lifespan. A lot of drivers reported their brake pads lasted for more than 80,000 miles, which is rather impressive. It might seem difficult to achieve such extended use, but the truth is, those who follow a few simple rules and perform regular maintenance will get the same results. Therefore, if you want to get the most miles out of your brake pads, consider the suggestions below. Why do brake pads wear? We already mentioned that brake pads normally wear during regular use. However, some other factors might influence their longevity. Materials, driving conditions, and vehicle type and load are only some of the things that can shorten the lifespan of brake pads. Brake pads wear down faster when you drive in areas that require a lot of braking. Making many stops can cause more friction and heat for the brakes, which will influence their lifespan. Large and heavy vehicles have stronger brake pads than regular cars, which means they need more help when slowing and stopping. They also tend to carry heavy loads, so braking power has to be high enough to ensure safety on the road. Although stronger brake pads are able to handle the extra pressure and last as long as regular brakes, they also experience more abuse and might wear out quicker. Brake pad materials significantly influence the overall lifespan of your vehicle's braking system. It's crucial, therefore, to pick the material according to your area of living and driving habits. A warm climate has less impact on brake pads lifespan than winter. Other outside threats such as road salt, grime, and slush can damage the materials as well. Also, careful driving with gradual braking is better for the pads materials than frequent stopping and fast braking. 
Semi-metallic brake pads are perfect for high temperatures but might wear out faster at low temperatures. On the other hand, ceramic pads are the strongest and ideal for all seasons and different driving habits, but not great for urban areas, as they take time to warm up. Detecting brake pads issues. There are several signs you can follow to determine when you need to replace your brake pads. Some of them are pretty obvious, and others might require a little more effort. Either way, these things are not to be overlooked, as brake pads ensure your safety on the road. To help you sense brake pad issues, we made a list of potential signs of your braking system deteriorating. Dash light. These days, most vehicles have a convenient dash light that notifies the driver that the brake pads are wearing out. The warning light shows on the display board, indicating that one of your brake pads needs to be replaced. However, not all vehicles have this indicator light, especially older models. Therefore, you might need to look for other signs of brake pad deterioration by listening and inspecting your vehicle regularly. Loud noise. One of the most common signs of brake pad issues is a loud noise. If you hear screeching or squealing when braking, it means your brake pads need to be checked. In most cases, a grinding noise indicates that the brake pads are completely worn out and need replacement as soon as possible. Visual check. You can always take a look at the brake pads and visually detect possible wear and tear. Some vehicle models allow you to see the outer brake pad through the spokes of the wheel. Here's where you can determine whether the pad is thick enough and in good condition. Driving test. Another huge sign of brake pad deterioration is a vibrating or squishy brake pedal. If you have to push the pedal far down to brake adequately, something is not right. In this situation, it's smart to get the entire braking system checked. Sometimes the brake fluid might cause the pedal to vibrate and feel spongy. Additionally, if you feel pulled to one side while braking, it's likely that you have issues with the braking system. When one of the brake pads wears out, it might create an imbalance in braking and cause dangerous pulls to one side. Prolonging Brake Pads Lifespan There are a couple of things you can do to prolong the lifespan of your brake pads. First and foremost, it's about being aware of the traffic ahead. If you anticipate potential braking situations and push the brake pedal gradually, you'll prevent the pressure on the system. Sudden braking significantly reduces the lifespan of the brake pads. Driving at high speeds might also make you use your brakes more. At high speeds, you'll be more likely to brake heavily and quickly, and consequently, put your brake pads under a lot of pressure. Another thing to consider is how much and how often you press the pedal. It's not recommended to push on the brake pedal all the way down a hill or rest your foot on it. Keep in mind that the pedal activates your brakes every time you use it, which is unnecessary pressure on the system. We think this video helped you to handle black ice safely. And don't forget to share your thoughts on your braking pads.